just go ahead and reset. Sorry for the resets here, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get a good start though. I don't want to just keep pissing away runs in the first few seconds. Alright, take it easy, beef. Enjoy the rest of your night. So you see I kind of repositioned myself at the door there. That's because when you're trying to slash dash cancel a door, <laughs> it doesn't work if you're too close to it. It'll give you the three slashes every single time. So I kind of had to reposition myself a little bit because I jumped too close. All right. So this was a pretty decent intro so far. Let's see if I can get the manipulation on the boss here. So you can't actually manipulate this guy to just stand in place and attack you rather than fly up, but requires something that's a little bit precise. Not too much, but enough that you can miss it. Nice. Managed to get it. And while that may seem like kind of slower because I get hit, in the end of the day I have a lot of health left so it wasn't like he was going to kill me and I don't need to wait for him to come back down from flying up. And that's where that negative four comes from, basically. Alright, so hopefully Iceless pays good dividends here. I did a lot of practice on the Iceless jump here uh, to get to the heart piece. So hopefully that continues to pay dividends for me. And hopefully the rocks don't screw me and get me hit and killed. So, fingers crossed. Oh, rocks, please. I'm just going to wait on him. I had taken enough hits there that I was worried that the rock was going to kill me. Okay, third attempt still pretty good. And we managed to get over the robots, which is nice as well. That whole section I put quite a bit of work in, actually. Like, about two hours worth one day. And another hour worth another day. And I did it all so that I could be able to get that... Iceless jump to the heart piece and be able to get over those two robots without taking a hit in most configurations. Obviously, if the meteors come down at a bad place, I'd still get hit.
So I had to do my slow and safe version of slash dash canceling there because had I ran into Dragoon, I probably would have died. Nice gold. Alright. And we do have a big chunk of time to save on Split Mushroom, as we did mess up on the uh, heart piece grab. So hopefully we can make up time there. So that was pretty sloppy, but... That was actually really good there. Pretty good climb as well. I'm decently pleased with that. Managed to get there nice and easy. Got the appropriate damage boost that I wanted in order to get to where I needed to. Followed by two enormous misses on my <laughs> saber attacks there. But whatever. That was almost really good. Okay. Doing pretty good. I'm liking this stage so far. Let's see how uh, Spider turns out now. Spider's another boss that is pretty good on a casual level about RNG, but once you get into the quick kill, using Kuenbu, which you get from Split Mushroom in the better route. Uh, it is an RNG nightmare <laughs> if you're trying to get it. Okay, we didn't quite get him in the yellow, but this is still a nice amount to start off phase two with. Shit. Ugh. So that was pretty sloppy. I thought that I could kill him using the uppercut, but it turned out I could not. So that's going to cost us time. But it looks like we had an excellent stage anyway, so that's nice to see. Alright, now that we have actions to Raijin Geki, we're going to take that to the Weakness Foss for that, which is Split Mushroom.
Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll have to remember that. So I now have a way to get past those two guys. Too bad I kind of messed up at the end there, but... So he took it nice and easy there, because I don't know how to do that section incredibly quick. But it was still pretty fast. We're going to use the safe strat on this, especially since we don't have a lot of health to be able to damage boost off of this guy. Nice. And we're off to the second section, so let's not fuck up this uh, health pickup this time, shall we? Man, we almost did that really well. Whew. On our way to the elevator. Time to practice some slash dash canceling while we annihilate these guys on the side. Let's destroy Split Mushroom and get a huge drop in time on this one compared to our PB currently. Ugh. Wow, are you serious? It's still okay. We really should have killed him earlier than that, but it's okay. Everybody makes some mistakes, I suppose. Huge 59 second buffer, so hopefully the rest of the bosses go well. We had a pretty bad stingray, if I recall correctly, on both sections of him, so we can get a nice one with there. There's going to be a huge increase in time. But for now, we're on our way to Cyber Keycock. All the spaghetti. Uh, the pasta gianni. <laughs> Could be a lot smoother, but yeah, for, for my skill level, this is doing pretty well.
I had to kind of slow down there because I didn't know where the orbs were going to come from, but still pretty decent. Shit. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god. Whew, okay. So when you get hit once there, you're in real danger of actually not getting an S rank. Um, usually it takes two, but if your movement's bad, like it was in that section, then it easily could have went to an A, and then the run would be over completely. So, whew, that was almost incredibly terrible. Ugh. Yep, that's about right. So once again, we hit that a little bit early. I need to find some timing mechanism. I think I, like, double jumped on it before, and that stopped that shit from happening, but... Still very frustrating when it does happen to you. So we probably lost about 12 seconds in this stage. Assuming that Peacock goes reasonably well. Okay, that was a decent peacock. <laughs> they do in Japanese schools, obviously. Okay, we didn't even have a split for Cyber Peacock from before, so... Now it's, uh, 1829. So... Oh. Rakuhoha! Alright, on to Frost Walrus. But first, a cutscene that we're not going to watch, and a save that we're not going to make. Okay, nice continue tank. Yeah, pretty decent drop there as well. I've gotten a lot better at that drop when I actually do get inside of that section. Um, normally, uh, you have to just kind of drop down little by little, but if you do a small um, dash jump in that section, you can get there m much, much faster. Alright, that was pretty decent. A two rep is a good amount for that boss. 
It was a little sloppy, but it still worked out. Ugh. Oh my god. Uh, please? Fuck. Okay. So this went from a pretty damn good ice place to a shitty one. A real shitty one. And I don't know why it wouldn't let me do a spin slash off of there. I'm guessing that it was locked for some reason. Maybe because I was like double jumping and I had already used one or something. Something equally stupid. So yeah, the second half of that was really, really shitty. Uh, hopefully we can make up for that in other places. By the way, to those of you who may be just joined in, hello and welcome to Wily Womping Wednesdays, my Mega Man X4 running day. I do 0, 100% currently. Still new to the route, but working on it. Hopefully you are doing well wherever you are out in the world, day or night. So we lost a significant amount of time there, but I uh, have to work it out. The gold is kind of fake there because we didn't have a time for Cyber Peacock, so the game can't really adjust for that. Uh, come on, charge, please. Oh my god. So that was pretty shitty, but uh, we'll work through it. Four is kind of bad. Four is actually bad. Um, like I said, two cycles pretty decent. Or two cycles pretty damn good. Um, three cycle is acceptable for me at least right now. But uh, four is bad. <laughs> so let's hope that Al goes pretty good so that we can make up for that. Stop the coop!
Ugh. Let's just knock him out of that real quick and kill him off screen. Okay, two more to go. And then we start getting into the banes of the existence of the run. No one gives a hoot about your bird puns. Man, I really gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Okay, mini boss. Uh, please? Jeez. Would not fucking bring out my saber to attack. At least it was a- f again, at least we got a fast entry. We screwed up on that mini-boss both times, but... Luckily the game was pretty generous and made up for it at least a little bit. Uh, what? Get back in there! That was really odd. <laughs> I'm sure if you keep doing bird puns, somebody's going to give you one. And I don't mean the actual animal. Ugh. So that could have been great, but not quite. It's about how much time I figured I would lose total. It's between jumping out of the mech somehow <laughs> and uh, the bad mini boss. All right, time for the killer of runs.
for the people that are not paying attention or too tired to make jumps correctly. Which very well might be me. He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. What an asshole. Obligatory bike level, go! Ready. Gotta go fast! Now this is pod racing. Wait, I forgot the zero voice. Now this is pod racing! Alright, be nice, Stingray. He's like, what the fuck? You followed me this whole way, what an asshole. I'm like, ride the city and then flee to the sea. Call me an asshole. You learned Yen Yaku. All right, Colonel Stage, let's do this. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> that bouncing ball just had all the reeds. All the jukes and the reeds together. He's both illiterate and a professional basketball player. Pretty good colonel. Shitty last part of the climb, which has been kind of typical for tonight, but good colonel. 
What's up, Shigan? What are you up to, man? Hopefully you're doing well. How are things going in Germany? Pretty drunk here, damn. What are you getting ripped off of, man? I'm actually getting ripped off of red wine and cola right now. <laughs> I call the Siete Tres, it's a South American thing. Seven parts red wine, three parts cola. Again, not a good Iris fight, but that's the best I can do, so just gonna have to work with it. Let's see here. Today it's Father's Day, so that means even more drinking. Yeah! Most holy day of the year! Oh, kinda. Usually we do, like, maybe a barbecue on Father's Day or something. I don't know. My family's close in a way that's not, I guess, like traditional families. And I don't mean that in a sick and twisted way, I just mean, like, uh... I don't know. You care about your family, but maybe, uh, you guys don't push the family stuff too much. Schnapps. Jesus Christ! Beer and peppermint schnapps. Are you trying to die tomorrow? <laughs> From a hangover? Alright, General. Let's do this, General. You and me. Oh my god, General! Whew, that was almost real bad, but uh, still not great. I messed up and didn't move into the second blast enough, so I got knocked off onto the ledge. So I basically lost maybe 10 seconds on that. Still much, much better than the PB again. Very acceptable. So let's see how this boss rush pulls out. <laughs> <laughs> no, the RNG was great on General. Like, he did his move immediately. It's just I did not execute, which is my fault. But still, you know, 10 seconds lost is okay. That would be the equivalent of him deciding to fuck off for one rep. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I accidentally messed up. I thought that he was in his first phase still, which would indicate that he was going to do an uppercut after the low fireball. But uh, he was not. He was in his second phase. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, it's so crazy, um, Shigan, like, I don't know. I, I understand why there's no public drinking, you know, in many places, but it's still kind of sad when you just kind of want to hang out, take a walk maybe, and have a, you know, a little bit of booze on the way with some friends. And, you know, you gotta be a fucking criminal about it and, like, hide it in your jacket and, like, a paper bag and shit and hope that no cops are around. It's fucking bullshit. Uh, okay. Okay, we're in phase two. I guess the thing is I hate acting like a fucking criminal when I'm of age and I waited long to be of age despite being perfectly prepared to be able to do that before then. Shit! What a dick, man. <laughs> Ugh. Partially my fault. Dude, but Han shot first. Doesn't that mean that, like, I have an advantage? Kill them before they even move? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, that's the thing that's kind of dumb. Um, or one of the things that's kind of dumb about America. I still think America is a great place to live, despite what all the propaganda would tell you, but there are some dumb shit that really should be changed to some extent. I mean, I think there's a difference between an adult walking around, you know, drinking a little bit, and some drunk, like, stumbling all around causing trouble. And unfortunately, if a police officer was so inclined, he wouldn't have to care. Ugh. Oh wow, come on. Don't do this. Oh my god. So that was a shit... Stingray again. Jesus Christ. Man, why does the bad shit always happen to me? Ugh. Alright, please be nice. Slash beast. So 
So that was a little slow, but it's all right. <laughs> Destroyed the run and fled to the sea. Just like a true asshole would. I'm sure Wesker is proud of that. <laughs> Do you know what's with Dave and Jimmy? They just... People get busy, man. I mean... I do want to play as well, but hold on, let me deal with this chump first. Okay, I do want to play, and I think that they do want to play as well, it's just... People get busy, man. Like, Jimmy's working two jobs, I think, now. Um, Dave, I don't know what's happening with him, but he's been... If I recall correctly, he's been in the middle of a move right now, so that's been a big issue for him. I'll try to talk to him, though. Maybe they're just blocking messages from people not on their friends list, or they don't know you are who you are. I'll talk to them, though, see what's happening with it. I do want to continue to play, though. And I do have a new system for maybe doing experience when we do decide... By the way, Shigan is a person that plays in my tabletop RPG uh, for Dungeons & Dragons next, so that's why where I kind of know him from. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Slowest fucking boss ever. I got a E tank. <laughs> I can't take the risk that he's gonna hit. Yep, he did. Yeah, you're around trade school. Whoops. All right, please, Walrus, be nice. I've already lost a lot of time on this boss rush. Don't be a dick. we didn't get completely crushed, but I think we're going to lose a lot of time. Yeah. We're already in the red for this split. We'll get to see just how far in the red in a second. Yeah. Wow. 20 seconds down. <sighs> I suppose that's to be expected, though. Let's hope that Sigma is really nice, though. I think we had a bad Sigma 3 as well, just from RNG, so hopefully that cleans up, and hopefully we're able to execute as well. We do have a full E-Tank, which is really nice as well. Are you ready for your final journey? One, two, three... One, two, three. Damn. Didn't quite get the perfect damage boost. That's okay.
So that was a pretty bad Sigma too, but we worked it out. Still managed to get him on second cycle, even if it was a bit late. Ugh, not quite getting the health off the bat. Prepare to become space dust. Nice. We're going to take some damage there, but that's okay. Nice. We might get a single cycle here. Ugh, not quite. That sucks. But it'll be close. Nice. Managed to kill him there. And we're going to kill Sigma right now. Nicely done. Nice! Yeah, I should have done an uppercut on the last hit of Sigma right head. Uh, Sigma gun, as he's called. Still a very, very nice increase in time. Uh, getting closer and closer to that sub-50. Uh, that soft goal. But yeah, to readdress it, Shigen, um, I am aware of it. I'm going to actually... Um, Dave is going to come down to visit me tomorrow, so I'll have to ask him, see what's happening with him. But uh, I'll get back to you on that. Just give me a message on Facebook also to remind me to... Uh, ask him in case I forget for some odd reason. But I am very aware of it, and I would like to continue. Iris! For those of you still around, thank you very much for joining in. Um, appreciate the company while I play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you were watching, what you were hearing. Uh, if you feel so inclined, feel free to hit the follow button. I will be doing Mega Man X runs and all the rest of my speed games at the bottom. If you check underneath my video, you'll see some of those. I'm going to have a schedule graphic at some point, but for now, just to let you guys know, tomorrow, which is going to be Thursday, is going to be Terror or Thriller Thursdays, which is going to be Castlevania Symphony of the Night and maybe some Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, max and many percent. I do a variety of speedruns in Soten, so that should be interesting. Friday is going to be Fantasy Fridays, which for now is a Final Fantasy VII casual run uh, with a little bit of speed tech. I'm trying to get save files so that I can do the Yuffie Warping Plus category for speedruns, which is a really awesome category, lots of glitches. Pretty quick, about two and a half to three hours. On Saturday, it's going to be Shield Dashing Saturday, which is primarily, which is basically completely Soten, where I'm going to really break down stuff with that. Sunday is Smellulator Sundays with Pokemon Red Glitchless Any Percent. So if you feel so inclined for any of those, feel free to tune in, check it out. I'm always happy to have new people here that are willing to talk and discuss things, be civil. <laughs> As for the rest of the week, Monday is. Uh, Luchador Lunes, which is Guacamelee, 
um, another platforming type of game, a type of Metroidvania, if you will. Platform exploration combat. Lots of cool glitches in that as well. Uh, Tuesday is Terror Tuesday. Or, yeah, Terror Tuesdays, which is also Soten. Um, but I can branch out these things in many different ways. Many of these things are themed rather than game specific, except for Shield Dashing Saturday. So maybe for Wily Whomping Wednesdays one time, when I get used to it, maybe I'll do some classic Mega Man's. Maybe I'll do another X series. Who knows? But I do thank you for your patronage and your support here. Also of note, we do have some Frankerface Z emotes as well. You can see those at the bottom of the page. So if you have the add-on installed, feel free to do so. I have a link to the page as well that'll kind of explain to you what you need in order to get those working. Highly recommend it for those of you who are longtime Twitch viewers. But that's going to do it for me for tonight. I'm just going to wait for this uh, little bit of story to go by, and we're going to call it a night. The battle has ended, but for some reason, Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. As a hunter, it is his duty to go after those mavericks. At the same time, he knows that it is his destiny to defeat his friend one day. Two different people, two different fates. In the future, Zero's decision will lead to great hunters to tragedy. The future is coming. Capcom!